You talked to <clears throat> one former Guantanamo prisoner who has been given a car, money for a wedding and a house by the government. To some Americans, this might seem odd, um, almost like a reward. Uh, how do the Saudis explain it? Well, uh, one Saudi official had a, uh, a great answer to that question when I asked it of him. He said, we want to keep him busy. Uh, if, if, a, if a man uh, who maybe was arrested when he was still in his 20s and doing the kind of stupid things you do when you're in your 20s is now in his 30s and he's married with children, the world looks a whole lot different and you've got a, a, a wholly different set of responsibilities and, and your number one uh, reason for, uh, for living may no longer be to uh, go off and, and fight against Americans or to go off and avenge uh, real or suspected uh, wrongs that uh, the U.S. and Israel have, have committed against uh, uh, Muslims. So they're just trying to give them a whole new take on life. And uh, it is uh, conditioned by the fact that the Saudis uh, believe that most of these uh, prisoners that are coming home from Guantanamo are really innocent of any uh, serious uh, uh, crime of, of terrorism. Uh, and the only law that uh, the Saudis considered them to have violated was to travel on a false passport from Saudi Arabia to either Pakistan or Afghanistan. So they give them, uh, they, they, they usually uh, send them before a judge and the judge sentence, sentences him, but the sentence always ends up being time served in Guantanamo. So essentially, as soon as he gets home, uh, one of these prisoners will go through this rehabilitation program, which lasts about 10 months, and then he gets what you can only call him, is a second chance. Now, you also <clears throat> talked to an expert on Saudi security programs. Uh, what does he think the current status is of al-Qaeda's organization within the kingdom? Well, al-Qaeda uh, in Saudi Arabia uh, has almost been taken down entirely. Uh, the Saudis have a, uh, a list of 85 most wanted terrorists, and they've all fled the kingdom. Um, you can't uh, survive for long as a, uh, as a serious terrorist in, in Saudi Arabia because it's an authoritarian state. They can set up uh, roadblocks uh, anytime they want, any place they want. Uh, they can search your car anytime uh, they want. And this, this presence, once they, the Saudis decided to get serious about going after uh, al-Qaeda in Saudi Arabia, and if you remember back in 03 and 04, there were some terrible terrorist attacks in, in Saudi Arabia. And that really galvanized the Saudis to go after al-Qaeda, and they went after him with a vengeance. So that's sort of the hard approach. And then they take the, uh, the wannabes and the foot soldiers who have not actually killed anybody, and uh, they try to put them through this rehabilitation program.